The itsy bitsy spider. Stop! Where did you learn to sing? I don't know. I just saw it on the TV. Honey, you must remember, singing is deadly. The TV is trying to trick you. You must never sing again. Okay, I won't. Going to class? Yeah. And you think you can go without wearing earplugs? Come on. Do I have to wear them? Yes. You never know when someone could start singing. These are lifesavers. Hey, take those out of your ears. Yeah, take them out. My mom says I'm not supposed to take these off. Can I just try them on? Yeah, for a second. Thank you. Yeah, these are trash. Hey! Oh, relax. You'll be fine without them. Bria, I need to see you after class, please. Miss Claremont, if this is about my grade, I... No, dear. This isn't about your grade. What are you doing? Mary had a little Miss Claremont, lamb. please stop singing. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary... Little lamb. Stop. Mary had a little... Oh my gosh, what did you do to Miss Claremont? She was trying to kill me. What? what? She would never do that. I am calling the police. Honey, what's the matter? It was awful. Someone took my earplugs and then my teacher tried to kill me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Rock a bye, baby. Why are you singing? Hush, little baby. Mama's gonna buy you a mocking. <gasps> Honey? Are you okay? I'm- I'm so sorry. Why would you do that? I- I don't know. It was like something was controlling me. Bria? No, no, stop. Stay with me. Bria, wake up. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear too. You need to take it out. Fine, just come here. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. Ugh. Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There. He's not going anywhere. Ugh. Hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I... I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you... are you... Coming into the tree Where dead men called out for his love to flee. Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Let's see your mark. Purple? Purple equals famous. You're five and you still can't read. It says famous. Well, does that mean that I'm gonna be famous? You famous? Oh, no, honey. These marks are just for fun. But, um, you should cover yours up. Hey, guys, look who it is. Aw, it's the wannabe famous girl. Would you like to audition for a movie, love? No, thank you. Oh, but you're exactly what we're looking for. That's the script. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. Action. I'm sorry, Derek, but I don't think things are working out between us. I... Okay, cut. But I didn't even get to finish. I know. We saw what we needed. Thank you. Honey, what's that in your hands? Nothing. Was that a script? It wasn't. It was just some homework. It better not be. Now cover up that mark. Is this Tara? Yes. Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you. You got the part for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations. 
Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, all right. Just don't be too long. So another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts, but other than that... Allergic to peanuts, got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing, cover it up. I'm not gonna cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say, I'm gonna go. My daughter is gonna be a lead in a movie? Congrats, this is amazing. Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no, you won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey, I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops, clumsy me. <laughs> I can't breathe. You're having an allergic reaction. Please, everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney. Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in, mother puts peanuts in- Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no, that's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies, if that's okay. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. <laughs> if I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that. Where did she go? I uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. <laughs> see how much mommy and daddy love me or see how much are in their bank account? I already know mommy and daddy love me, so let's see how much money they have. 
Wow, they have a billion dollars. I must be getting a lot of Christmas presents this year. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you. What else did you get me? That's it, Pumpkin. We didn't get you anything else. Mommy and Daddy are very poor. But I see that you have a lot of money. Uh, there must have been a mistake. Don't sound spoiled. Be grateful. So, guys, any chance I'm going to get a phone for my birthday? <laughs> oh, poor thing. No, you're too young. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that. But when do you think I will be old enough to have a phone? You'll get next one next year. Next year, you literally say that every year. No, we don't. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connors' baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. In other news, today marks 16 years since billionaires Mr. and Mrs. Connors' baby daughter went missing. Wait, that baby kind of looks like me. If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. That can't be me. I'm just being delusional. We should give her back now. The reward is one million dollars. But how do we get the reward money for her without them knowing we took her in the first place? Shh, let's talk about it over here. The number on the TV. They said to call it if... If you have any information, we urge you to call this number. I need a phone. I'll have to take mom and dad's. No, I just gotta call this number. No, I just gotta call this number. What the hell was that? <gasps> you want to tell us why you were in our room? And why my phone is cracked? I, um, I didn't think you guys saw me. I was just, um... What is this? <sighs> she knows we're not her parents. She was trying to call the number on the news, huh? Well, you know what? It's about time she found out. Surprised it took her this long. I mean, how could she never question how we all have different hair and eyes and why we never let her on social media? I mean, come on. You two are sick, and I am leaving. No, you're not. Now turn. We gotta make you look pretty for your billionaire mommy and daddy. They'll be so happy. And the final touch, a little bow. Aw, oh, babe, isn't she so cute? Your birth parents are offering a big reward for you, so you better not mess this up. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Now, get into that box, and no talking. Richard, what in heavens did you order? This box is not from... Me. What is going on? Read the note. It'll explain everything. Your prayer... Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh-huh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18. Isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things, just use one of them. No, I'm sorry, just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me! Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not gonna be by drowning. I'm gonna pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? 
<laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time, and it picked one for me! What? It picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices! I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again! I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. I don't remember anything that happened last night. Where am I right now? Welcome to your escape room. You must complete five tasks in order to leave. What? I don't want to play this game. You must play. Let me out of here. If you fail to complete all five tasks, you will not be making it out alive. What can you hold in your right hand but not your left? I don't know. My left hand. That wasn't so bad. There is no way I am doing that. Please just let me out of here. Okay. That hurt. What now? How am I supposed to give myself a tattoo? No. What is more useful when it is broken? It's an egg. It has to be an egg. No way. It's a glow stick. Say glow stick. So which is it? An egg. A glow stick. If I don't get this right, I'm going to die. The final decision is yours to make. An egg. Correct answer. An egg. Mom, I'm home. No, I got a riddle. You need to read it out loud. What is always in front of you but can't be seen? Right in front of you, but you can't see it. Air! It has to be air. It's always right in front of you, but nobody can see it. The answer, air. Incorrect. Correct answer, the future. Mommy's gone. I, I really thought I was right. <laughs> I got a riddle again. What can fly but has no wings? I, I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow! A shadow! Correct answer, a shadow. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry, read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No, don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer, a river. Oh, no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's 10 and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer, a dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. What can fly but has no wings? I don't know. I don't want to be wrong again. Please help. Final answer. A ghost. Say ghost. Okay. No. Go it's time. Are you sure? Yes. The answer is time. Correct answer. Time. I hate this game. I don't want to play. Sissy, you need to be strong, okay? Quitting isn't an option. I just got a riddle. What is always spelt wrong? That's an easy one. The answer is wrong. Wrong is always spelt wrong. Wrong? No, it can't be that simple. But what if it is? The answer is wrong. Correct answer, wrong. I just got a riddle. Hurry, Grandma, read it. What can clap with no hands? Clap with no hands? You're behind. No. I can only live if there's light, but I die if a light shines on me. A shadow, a shadow. Correct answer, a shadow. Bye, Mom. I'm off to school. Sissy, I got a riddle. Hurry, read it to me. What can run but can't walk? A turkey? No, don't say turkey. Final answer. It's a river. It's a river. Are you sure? I think so. A river. Correct answer, a river. Oh, no. I just got a riddle. Hurry, read it out loud. We can all help you. What has 21 eyes but can't see? 21 eyes but can't see. Come on, give him suggestions. I don't know. I know the answer. It's ten and a half blind people. Incorrect. Correct answer, a dice. Oh no, I got another riddle. 
Only one? He's so innocent. I love him. Two at once? It's okay. It's okay. I am not judging. Not Three at once? When we finally meet, him and I are gonna have to have a little chat about this one. My soulmate's body count is six. I mean, it's not that bad. It could be worse. That's horrible. Absolutely crazy. Is that crazy? How much is your soulmate's body count? Zero. Um, zero? Calm down, guys. It's 2021. There's nothing wrong with being a little promiscuous. Their body count isn't how many they've been with, it's how many they've killed. What? I can't believe it. I can't believe my soulmate is a killer. Calm down. Just breathe. You'll probably never even have to meet him. You know, it's honestly offensive that the universe thinks I belong with somebody like that. Let's get our mind off things. Let's watch TV. Breaking news, the Cheerios Bandit is on the loose. What kind of name is that? The Cheerios Bandit? He already has over 10 bodies. Could that be him? Your soulmate? I, I need some fresh air. I think I'm gonna throw up. There's no way. There's no way the Cheerios Bandit could be my soulmate. Who are you? Come with me. It's time for the big reveal. What did I get? You got gold. Gold? <gasps> I knew it. I was born for fame. Okay, show me yours. What did I get? You got gold too. Oh my god, we are so lucky. Girl, did you hear they're looking for a girl with a pink mark? They say she's the long lost princess. What? <laughs> no way. The prince was also given a pink mark. There's only two people within the whole kingdom with a pink mark. You know, gold never really suit me, but... Marrying a prince sure will. Hello, sir. I'm here to see the prince. Nobody sees the prince. Yeah, okay. Oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. Please come with me right away. <laughs> of course. You're so beautiful, just as I expected. Ah! I mean, ah, me too. You're, you're handsome, I mean, not beautiful. Well, you are beautiful, but... <laughs> I get what you mean. She's back, and with more fashion trends from the 2000s that we have to bring back. Listen, hear me out for one second. The denim on denim is kind of hot. I love it. Especially in like this couple's aesthetic and with the necklace, I'm obsessed. I will now be buying a denim corset. Track suits, like why did we ever stop wearing these? They're so cute and you don't have to put any effort in because it already matches. I'm gonna buy this, but in hot pink. Just everything about Christina Aguilera, the gloves, the chain, the hats, I love the hat. Obviously I already did the braids too. I think they're so cute. Also just everything Avril Lavigne did. Like, are you kidding me? This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I have these arm cuffs and I bought a tie because of this look. I'm obsessed with cargo pants and I'm very glad that they're coming back into style. Let me know what trends you missed from the 2000s because I have so many more. These are some trends from the 2000s that we need to bring back immediately. First of all, the black and white hair. It's just so good. I wish I could do it, but I'm afraid I'm gonna burn all my hair off. Somebody else needs to eat this up and tag me, please. You might want to argue with me, but low rise jeans and hear me out. As someone who is not very tall, this makes my torso look so much longer because I have children sized legs. The crimped hair, mwah, mwah. why did we ever stop doing this? I kind of love the texture. It's fun, it's crazy, it's messy, but on purpose. Last but not least, okay. This, this whole aesthetic. The belt and the cargos and the bracelets, yes. I would literally wear this tomorrow if I had all of this. Comment a trend that you want to see come back. I can't punch someone in the face, that is so mean. Wait, but for a thousand dollars, who's my victim? Hey sis. Uh, yeah, what's up? Remember that one time you stole my white blouse and got hot sauce all over it? Um, yeah, I remember that, I said sorry. It's time for my payback. Dude, you broke my nose. Yes, I'm rich. What's next? I wanna buy myself a Chanel bag. You want me to cut someone's ponytail off? I'm sorry, but for 10K, I have to. Mom, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to do. What? What do you mean? Did you just cut all my hair off? Uh, yeah, looks like it. If I have to be bald, so do you. <gasps> I'm sorry. What? I can't do that. I'm gonna get arrested. I'll help you finish the challenge if you give me half the prize money. Okay, what's my superpower? What is this? It's your birthday. What special power did you get? I don't know, there's just a bunch of colors over my head. Colors? Yeah, there's blue. What happened? Nothing, you just have blue lines on your face now. Oh. 
I selected it. It's so funny. She doesn't even get a real power. Hey, why would you say that? What? I never said anything. That was so weird. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, my dude, Jim. She'll never know how madly in love with her I am. You're in love with me? What? How did you know that? Whoa, I can read minds. Hey, is your birthday party still on at your place? Yes, of course it is. I really hope her mom's there. She is so fine. I'm so over this whole mind reading thing and stay away from my mom. I wonder what superpower Red will give me. Oh, oh I forgot. Puts lines on my face. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Guess what? My crush asked me out and we're going on a date tonight. Danger. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're never happy for me. No, you don't understand. It gave me a danger warning. A what? It looks safe to cross now. Let's go. Danger. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, that was close. Your power's actually, like, really useful. Hey, I invited Jim to come study with us. Jim? Okay, but you know he's, like, madly in love with me, right? Really? Since when? Danger. 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 Oh, that must be Jim. I'll be back. I'll go Danger. let him in. Wait, no. Let's see what power black gets me. What new power did you get? I'm not sure yet. 63 years left? Hey, Brianna, cool lines in your face. Very rad. Five years left? <laughs> what? Oh, it shows me how many years people have left to live. Huh? I would start taking better care of your health. You don't have much time left. You're crazy. 63 years. Why do you keep saying that? That's how long you have left to live. What? No way. I deserve way more than that. I have to study really hard if I want to go to med school next year. I think it's better if you just live in the moment. No, med school's my dream. Yeah, but life is very unpredictable. You never know in a year you could be gone. You're just jealous you can't get into med school. What power will I get for purple? Ooh, purple kind of suits me. Why haven't you left yet? It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? No way, I'm gonna be late for school. What's happening? Whoa, how did you get here? You're lucky, you made it just in time for the bell. Whoa, I can teleport. Class was so easy. Oh no, I forgot my bag. I got you, bestie. I got your bag, bestie. Thank you. And I also got this. What's that? It's the answers for the upcoming science test. I teleported into Mrs. Jennings' office and I took them. And the best part is, no one could have saw me go in. Because I didn't. I teleported. Brianna, we saw that you took the answers. Principal Smith, how is that possible? I never even went in. You know we have security cameras, right? I forgot about that. Gotta go. All right, it's time to see what the last power is. Brown. Ugh, looks like sh Hey, Bessie. Hey, Brianna. Uh, where are you? What are you talking about? I'm literally right here. All right, wherever you're hiding, come out. I'm right in front of you. No, you aren't. <sighs> whatever joke you're playing or prank or whatever, it's not funny. Looks like Brianna's absent today. What? No, I'm literally right here. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Come out this instant. Why can nobody see me? Oh, that must be my new power. I can be invisible. How do I turn this off? Oh. Ah, when did you get here? Time to spy on people. What is my bestie doing over there with my boyfriend? Brianna can never know the truth about our love. Disappear and stay? What does this mean? It's a new form of population control. People can vote for you to disappear or stay. Why do you look worried? Well, Dad, because I haven't exactly been nice to people. Everyone's gonna vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can we just forget about that? Actually, we can't. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so...
Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad, Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm gonna go find someone to give me that. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. <laughs> what? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean, the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. What are we gonna do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person able to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. I know you guys tell me to stop messing with my hair, but my bangs need a trim. Am I gonna go to a stylist? No. I'm gonna cut them myself with my baby tiny scissors. I just wanna do some baby pieces in the front cause I don't trust myself, but I also can't see cause of the bangs. Okay, I'm just gonna say fuck it and start cutting. <laughs> I don't wanna mess them up. That's my biggest worry that they're just gonna like look really bad. I don't think that that's even. I think I need to cut a little bit more on this side. Hopefully I won't <laughs> regret this. Okay, I'm too scared and I barely took anything off, but I can definitely see now, which is good. I think that they're cute and my hair is always really messy, so you probably won't even tell if they're kind of uneven. Okay guys, I just got back from the festival day two and my hair is looking a little crazy, but the makeup has stayed on for the entire duration of the festival because of this NYX Cosmetics mattifying setting spray. It is so impressive and look at these stars. The dating standards in 2023 are literally on the floor. Like when did a date become getting in a car and just sitting in the parking lot? I just want someone to serenade me. Is that too much to ask? If you agree that romance is dead, then you're gonna like this song. I keep denying the truth. Romance is dead. But the fantasy of us lives on inside my head. And I'm trying not to give up. I'm so sick of putting effort in. I'm so I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy son, because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny son. Your soulmate is a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. Anyways, I have to go now. Jack Frost has a son? 
Oh, I bet you he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list. Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I, uh, think your father wants to speak with you. He does? Mm-hmm. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter is here. Ho, oh, oh. There you are, Holly. Hey, Dad. Did you find out who your soulmate is? Uh, nope. Holly, you know lying will get you on the naughty list. All right, just don't get mad. My soulmate is... Santa, all of our toy machines have been frozen solid. No worries, I'm on it. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. My name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Mm. Oh, oh, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get canceled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly. Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared? What are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho, <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Honey, his family cannot be trusted. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. And where do you think you're going? You can't escape from me. Jack, please. I told you to stay away from my son. Now you're going to pay the price. Just a few more minutes, and you'll be frozen forever. Hey, get away from her. Don't worry, I'm gonna stop him. Your powers are no match for mine. We'll see about that. <laughs> and you said I was no good at using my powers. You're too late, Jared. Holly! Oh, my poor baby. Jared, we can't thank you enough for saving her. And we're pleased to announce you both are off the naughty list. Really? Yes, and you have our blessing to be together. Thank you. I promise. I will always look after her. Are you getting kind of hot now? Yeah, a little. I think I can help with that. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. 
what are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today. And so many articles have been written. I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. I'm not gonna use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much, but I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. He's not gonna look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of... What do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not gonna get away with this. Mr. Knight is gonna find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that! Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. 
Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you too. If we don't leave now, he's gonna come out to kill you. Okay, let's go. Shouldn't we, like, call the police on him, though? No, that's what I did, and in the future, they never got him. I'm gonna save you from all of this. I'll be right back. How are you gonna save me? I'm gonna kill him so that you can have a normal life. What? Isn't that a bad idea? Of course not. It'll be fine. Okay, I did it. It's done. That was so fast. I have to go back to the future now. Bye. You're just gonna leave? I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get home right now. She just killed someone and wants me to go get a Red Bull? Fine, whatever. There she is, excuse me, is your name Bailey? Yes. You're under arrest for the murder of your recent boyfriend. Whoa, whoa, I didn't do that. This videotape is showing you committing the crime. That's not me, the, uh You have the right to remain silent. You'll be coming to the station with us. Today I'm gonna be picking out my outfit with a blindfold on. We have moved to the inside of my closet and I'm just gonna blindfold myself. I don't even know where I'm going. We're just gonna reach this one. I feel like I should look. Okay, we might as well pick out a coat too. What's this? Oh, I actually really like this jacket. Now on the floor and whatever the first shoes I touch are, I'm gonna wear them. Okay. Ah! This is my skirt drawer, honestly. I, oh. I'm just gonna dig through here. I'm gonna go for the bottom ones because I don't even know what's down there. What am I holding on to? Okay, hello? Let's just try on the full fit and see what it looks like. Are we ready for the final fit? Because I don't know if you can handle all this. <laughs> Upon putting this top on, I realized that it's actually broken. <laughs> this is kind of a moment. And then we just lift the leg, mm, put it back down, put it back down. Rate my outfit one to 10 in the comments. <laughs> Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm gonna rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you can never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Good morning, I made you lunch. Thank you, mother. Have a good day at school. Thank you. Hello, best friend. Hello. Watch out for the... Ow! Table. No, no, please don't do this. I just hit my arm, I'm so sorry. Where is Emily? You always walk together. She is gone. Hey, I, uh, I heard what happened to Emily. I really hope you're doing okay. Be careful. You're showing emotion. Actually, I figured out how to show emotion without getting caught. I can show you how to do it if you want. Yeah. How do you show emotion without getting caught? The trick is to stop caring. You wasted my time. Try it out and see for yourself. <laughs> How are ya? Mother, don't cry. You'll get caught. Your little sister Ella's gone. She threw a tantrum at school and now she's gone forever. Mother, I love you. Hey, what you said worked. I stopped caring after everyone in my life was gone. I knew you'd come around. We need to put an end to this wall. Can you help me? <gasps> did you just get an emoji? I did. My soulmate's a brunette. He's just my type. Really? Mine's blonde. Baby, won't you lose my way? I can be your new 
My soulmate loves reading. He's just like me. I'm so excited to meet him one day. Oh, I just got a car emoji. Maybe he drives? An ambulance? Hey, do you know what ambulance might mean? I don't know. Maybe he's going to be a paramedic when he's older? Yeah, I'm sure it's that. You got a skull emoji? Does that mean your soulmate is... No. No, there's no way. It can't be. It's not fair. Brianna, wait. Where are you going? I'm going home. I just got a call. Oh, no. And a police car? I wonder what the police car could mean. I just got another one. It's a man running. Hmm. A police car and a man running. I'm not sure my soulmate. It looks like he's... Hiding or something? Oh my. Brianna, I don't think your soulmate's dead. I think he's a murderer. Okay, make a wish. How many years did you get? Eight. But you'll only be 17. Huh? Don't worry. I'm sure she'll find a nice, handsome prince to marry. I hope so. Your birthday soon. Have you chose a prince you'd like to marry? No. All the princes I met so far are Hello, princess. I heard you're looking for a prince to marry. How about me? I'd rather talk <laughs> Well, that's what's going to happen. I heard Prince William likes you. Yeah, but he's not my type. You don't have much time left. Maybe you can learn to love him. You are to marry Prince William. Final decision. But mother, I don't like him. Enough. You don't have enough time left. You must marry a prince in two days. Who said I even like princes at all? Excuse me? Two princesses marrying is forbidden. Mother. That's enough. I'm going to start making the arrangements for you to marry Prince William. Brianna, are you okay? I am to marry Prince William tomorrow. I'm sorry. I know that he wasn't your first choice. No, he wasn't. I now pronounce you, Prince William, and you, Princess Brianna, to be wedded. I object. Ella. This is absolutely preposterous. What kind of objection would you have to our marriage? I object because I want to marry her, and I know that she feels the same way. Ugh, that's absolutely rancid. Two princesses cannot marry. They won't accept our marriage. I know. How about we elope? <sighs> Why am I on a beach? I must have gone too hard last night if I don't even remember where I'm at. That guy over there is like not moving. I should probably check if he's okay. Hello, sir, are you okay? Dude, yo. Maybe he'll wake up if I slap him. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that was a lot of water. Are you okay? You you just saved my life. Oh, no, I was just walking by. Was that a mermaid? Forget about that. I'm in love with you. You've saved me. <gasps> I was not supposed to find you. What? What are you talking about? Nothing. You have to come meet my father. I can show him I finally found a wife. I'm sorry, wife? I'm Prince Eric, and I would love for you to be my princess. <laughs> I can't get married to you. What? You have to marry me. That's how the story goes. Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right, you have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true. You look great. Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. Hey Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. Hi guys. Uh, my name's Jason and this is Bailey. Nice to meet you. You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning. Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? You dropped this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever, I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly paused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about the test. I know what to do. 
Just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me, sorry. Play. You may now begin, you have one hour. Hey, uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What? Mm, just one second. Hey, babe. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What, are you serious? Yeah, bye. Oh, wow, <sighs> are you trying something new with your hair? No, what do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now, too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is... Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun mm. Kelly, too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you? Guys, okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair, me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all.